Stretching from southwest to southeast, Lake Matano stores many geological uniqueness, archaeological relics, astounding panorama and biodiversity. According to geological researchers, the lake was formed around 4 million years ago by the collision of several big plates which created the island of Sulawesi. Matano is classified as an ancient lake, which is a lake that carried water without interruption for more than a million years. Intensive research has provided explanation concerning the phenomena of this ancient lake, which has become the monument of the formation of the island of Sulawesi. system supports various economic and social activities in their surroundings, such as mining, agriculture, plantation, fishery, small and medium industry. The formation of this land has created a unique ecological impact. Every plate has left traces which can still be found today. The sixth deepest lake in the world has a unique diving location. Due to the geological movement, you can find various forms of rock and stunning underwater relief. The ecosystem of Lake Matano, with their individual distinctiveness, creates various species that can only be found in the lake. We can find colorful small fish species from the Telmetherinidae family. The local people call the species Opudi fish. Like birds, they use their beauty to attract the female fish during the mating season. Butini or Glossogobius metanensis is one of the fish species that inhabits deep waters and can only be found in the Malili Lake system. Matano has at least 32 endemic fish species, 9 endemic freshwater prawn species, 87 endemic diatom species, 26 endemic gastropod species, and 5 endemic freshwater crab species. However, the ecosystem, which has been very valuable, is now facing challenges from the increasing population and rapid changes in the environment. Local people have introduced various foreign species into the lake using floating nets. Cultivation of foreign fish species in the lake also threatens these endemic fish species. On the shore of the lake, a group of people are cutting down the trees around the lake using burning method. They use the land to cultivate pepper and other crops. When this activity becomes uncontrollable, it will have adverse effects on the lake ecosystem and reduce the velocity of water flow.
attention should be paid on how the activities will still be in harmony with the environmental sustainability. If we fail to protect the environment surrounding the lake, we would lose one of the richest biodiversity hotspots we've ever had. If conditions continue to deteriorate, our future generations will not have the opportunity to feel and experience this amazing natural heritage. Matano needs our immediate help. We can save the lake by maintaining the cleanliness of the lake protecting the forests around the lake and putting an end to the introduction of foreign fish species into the lake. However, this is not enough. We need to work together. Matano requires attention and concerns of all stakeholders. Let's save Matano, starting with ourselves. If we don't take an action, who will?